Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Today is going to be a really short episode. I just want to touch on a couple quick things. And we're in the holiday season, so it's a very busy time for us and probably for you as well. I just wanted to take a few minutes to share some thoughts on this question of how do I create an audiobook? It's a much longer conversation, and we'll actually touch on this in many different podcast episodes. Some of these we have already covered, but here are from the biggest perspective, from that very general question of how do I create an audiobook? First of all, what we're going to talk about are the decisions you need to make along the way. So from the broadest picture, what are your options and How do you make those decisions? Before you even get started, the first thing you want to think about is what's your biggest goal? That is going to impact the way that you approach your audiobook. But let's just say that you've decided what your goal is. And we talk about that in other episodes. You've decided what your biggest goal is. And now you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I go from here? What's my first step? Your first step is going to be figuring out whether you want to get some help with the process or whether you want to do it yourself, the DIY approach. As you might expect, the DIY or do-it-yourself approach is a much more extensive and complex process, and so I'll have to cover that in more episodes. What I'm going to then shift to for this moment is If you reach out to an audiobook producer, then you get the help or you can get the help that you need in the overall process. An audiobook producer should be an expert in the audiobook process. They understand how to cast somebody to do the narration or work with you if you're going to be the author narrator. And again, that's a very different approach that's a little more in the DIY scenario. So I'm going to set aside that conversation and we're going to focus in on your options for having your uh, your book professionally narrated so you have a great finished audiobook. When you're looking for a producer, you want to look for somebody who's going to be able to provide the services that you need. Now, if you're asking the question, how do I produce an audiobook? The first thing you're going to need is someone who's willing to explain and walk you through the process step by step. So you want to be talking to somebody who's uh, transparent about the process, who's willing to answer your questions so you feel like you're in the loop and you understand what's going on. It can be a fairly complex process. And so when people start talking about uh, bit rates and things like that, you may not understand what they're talking about. And the thing is, you don't necessarily need to understand all the audio lingo, but what you do need to know and to be able to trust is that the producer that you're working with is giving you the information you do need and taking care of the other parts that you don't need to fully understand. Let me explain it this way. It's important that you understand that there are, for example, technical specifications that the audio is going to need to meet in order to be accepted by the audiobook distributors. But you don't need to know what bitrate means or, you know, the, the audio details that can make you feel overwhelmed and over your head. It's not over your head. It's just those are the details that the audio engineer needs to fully understand so they can deliver audio that will pass the quality control inspection 
by the audiobook digital distributors. But you do want to have somebody who is going to explain the process and the information, for example, around your metadata, making sure that you're using metadata that's going to be beneficial to you to help to give you some guidance in that direction. This is something that I think is often bypassed by audiobook producers who really are just focused on creating the audio without attending to the metadata and marketing side of things that is so critical for the success of an author. I've seen many, many a book description that uh, really needs, you know, needed a, some help in terms of the way that it's written, the words that are being used to make it more attractive to the potential customer, the person who is taking a look at the book description. The great thing is when you get to that place where you have somebody who's reading your description, you want then for that description to pay off, to entice them to listen to the audiobook. This is an area where most audiobook producers just leave it up to the author and they don't give any input. They don't really have any of that expertise themselves. So obviously it makes it harder for them to guide an author who may not have had any guidance prior to that point to come up with their book description. So this is just an example of a way or an area in the process of audiobook production that many people don't even think about as they're looking for an audiobook producer. Many people are focused on the pricing. And yes, certainly, you know, if you are working with a budget, then you want to make sure that that budget's going to work for you. And I would like to suggest definitely that you listen to the podcast that we have about the difference between a per finished hour cost and a project cost because per finished hour cost basis is the most typical in the audiobook production world and there is inherent risk in that cost basis so take a listen to that episode as well as you're exploring who to work with as an audiobook producer. You may also want to be asking questions of the potential producer that you work with about other ways that they may be offering to help. Uh, first of all, do they even include the submission process in the audiobook production? And I think many producers these days do. But which distribution service are they using and what kind of reach is that going to give you? For example, if they're working only with ACX, that's going to limit you entirely to Audible and iTunes. The end. You're not going to get distribution anywhere else. So if you're looking for distribution to a wider range to reach not just to those channels, but to other channels like audiobooks.com and Barnes & Noble and Downpour and Overdrive to libraries as well as retail, then you definitely want to be using a different digital distributor, something like Authors Republic. So coming back to the big question, how do I get my book into audio? Your first decision is going to be, am I going to work with an audiobook producer or am I going to try and do it on my own? Again, I want to suggest that if you're asking this question in this broad way, if you feel like I don't really know anything about the audiobook production world, then I would recommend that you work with a producer it's the best way to ensure that your project is going to be uh, completed well and make it all the way to the finish line. And again, we're going to cover more of these topics going forward in future episodes, but I'm going to wrap it up here. As the CEO of Pro Audio Voices, where we do audiobook production and marketing, I invite you to have a conversation with me about your audiobook project. And we'll figure out together whether we're a good fit for you. The first step is simply booking a discovery call, a 15-minute call, 
so I can learn more about your goals and your project, and we can see together if it feels like a fit. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.